We're with Bill Verity of Crown Verity, where we've been using his barbecues throughout this series, and we're kicking the boat into your place. Yeah, we're going by boat, and yeah. um, I know you're going to grill up a storm for us today, <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a perspective from the water. Uh, it's a lot different from the water than it is coming in on a driveway. This is unbelievable, this boat. Well, thank you. It's uh, 1946, so it's 72 years old. It's a crisscross, and they were made in uh, Michigan. Okay. And this boat was made famous by the movie on Golden Pond. Okay. Wow. Welcome to uh, Oak Ridge Cottage. Uh, I think we're going to have some fun today and I know you're going to grill up a storm. I can't wait. This is going to be great. So on today's show we're going to be grilling some vegetables. We're going to do some white eggplant. We're going to do some beets, roasted garlic, we're gonna actually teach you how to roast some watermelon, some grilled cheese, and I'll leave that alone, and a whole bunch of others. Won't you join me? I always say that, you know, you want to stay out of a hot kitchen. Well, today it's really hot out here. And so we're going to take all the vegetables that normally we would do maybe inside, maybe roast them off. We're going to do it all on our beautiful Crown Verity barbecue out here in Port Carling. And it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to get started in just a minute. I just kind of wanted to go through a couple of vegetables. And we're in that season now. We're in the season where everything's coming in and it's Okay, I know as of being a chef, it's always my favorite season, but this truly is my favorite season. We have um, some fresh onions that we got at the market, uh, peppers growing, you know, again, right off the vine, so you get so much great flavor. Broccolini, if I'm not saying it properly, I'm sorry. And then we have some fresh cauliflower, again, that was just picked this morning. Uh, grape tomatoes, They're, again, because we've had such great heat and great sun, our tomatoes are starting to come a little bit early. And then I, I thought I'd bring two different varieties of eggplant. So we have a white eggplant and just a purple eggplant. Um, a little bit sweeter with the white one, just a little bit. And of course, some beets that we're going to um, roast off. And again, just put them in a salad and it's so easy. We're all doing everything outside. So you're not gonna get your cottage uh, hot at all. And it's gonna be perfect. So we're gonna get started first of all with our beets. And we're just gonna take some tin foil. Now, <laughs> I always buy the big one because we go through it so much. And this is a heavy duty, and this is what you wanna do when you're actually barbecuing. You wanna have the heavy duty foil so that the heat doesn't go too quickly or that it breaks or rips, and then you have all the, the juice coming out and then it kind of dries out. And we, as we've mentioned before, we don't want anything drying out. So I'm just gonna rip this off. Put this here. And when there's no salt, no pepper, we're gonna season it and put a little bit of butter on it later. So we're just gonna put in some foil like this. Turn your foil over. Just like so. And I'm gonna do it one more time, again, just so that nothing leaks out and, and that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on top, the top rack. You don't wanna put it on the, the lower rack. You wanna keep it on the top. Then it's a little bit more indirect heat. They're gonna roast off beautifully. Then you can peel them and away you go. Now, I've washed them so all the dirt's off. If you don't wanna peel the beets, don't forget the skin's gonna give you some great uh, flavor and also extra nutrients that are in the skin that if you peel it off, it's gone, right? So we're gonna do that. And then what the other one we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to roast a pepper. And this is one vegetable and one way of cooking that burning is not a bad thing. You know, a lot of times, you know, my wife will always joke when she was younger and, and cooking for the kids, she'd say, you know, it would be caramelized, which meant it was really burnt. So this is one recipe that you can do and it's, and it's really great to burn them. So we're gonna take a whole bunch of red peppers. We have our barbecue. It's about 500 degrees. You wanna be between 500 and 600 degrees when you put these on. and they're just gonna go in the back. 
We're just going to leave them there and then we're going to char them on each side. It usually takes about two to about two minutes per side and you'll be good to go. The other dish we're going to do, and this is truly one of my faves, is we're going to take some of our tomatoes, just some grape tomatoes. And last year, we uh, actually were at the hot house and we, we saw the grape tomatoes growing here in Ontario that they actually get to grow all year round now. Great flavor, you know, use both. Put a little bit of olive oil. It's about, you know, for really keeping track, it'd be about a half a cup of olive oil onto your tomatoes. And then you're going to put them in and this is indirect. So the heat's not on the barbecue at all. We're going to put our tomatoes on there, cast iron fry pan or a thick bottom fry pan is what you're looking for. You don't want to have a thin bottom one because if you do, it, the heat will go through too fast and it's going to burn on you. So you want it to be nice and easy. Heat. And with the Magica TV and, and getting here earlier, we have some beautiful roasted tomatoes. And I'm just going to put them down below. Now this is where a little bit of safety comes in. You know, I'm putting it down below the handles down there, uh, down and tucked in. Or if you want, put a tea towel, wrap it around the handle. So that's, let's say your grandkids or your kids come up and they don't grab the hot handle. You know, a lot of times when we're cooking in the kitchen, we tend to forget about the hot handles and grab them and burn them and it's not a good thing. So again, just either put it down out of the way, put maybe wrap it around with a tea towel and you'll be good to go. So we have our tomatoes on now. We're just going to take our peppers. I'm just going to show you. We're just going to start getting the char. That's what we're looking for. Turn those over. And then, very fortunate, again, just picked up some fresh Ontario garlic uh, at TJ's farm. And you can just get it so often now. A lot more people are actually growing it in their gardens, which is great because you can keep it. And just remember when you're storing garlic, garlic does not like to be in the refrigerator. It likes a cool, dark area, dry, dry area. So, you know, you can leave it on your countertop, um, you know, maybe farther back. If the sun kind of comes into your cottage, uh, you don't want too much heat with it, but you definitely want it to be dry and not damp because then the mold will start happening on your garlic and that's not a good thing. So we're just going to take three cloves of garlic. We're going to roast them all off, put them on now. Um, a lot of times people will, um, you know, peel it down, put all olive oil on it. You're not being lazy and you can just peel it back by one layer, just like so. And then put that on the barbecue. If you're leery about, you know, sometimes because it, because it's so just picked, a little bit more moisture in it, you can put it, lay it on a piece of uh, tin foil, and then that way, if it does kind of, um, okay, for lack of better words, explode because of the steam in it, it's not going to go all over your your grill. It's just going to stay on the. Um, but we're going to keep an eye on it. So we're going to put one there. And again, this is going to go over the tomatoes that we have the indirect heat on. Peel this back, like so. And then the other one, I'll just show you afterwards that we're not gonna peel it back at all. You don't need to put anything else on it. You don't need to put oil on it. You don't need to put salt and pepper on it. It's gonna be lots of flavor. And for those of you who sometimes, you know, don't like the pungency and the sulfur of the garlic, this is gonna calm it down. So it's gonna taste more like a toasted wheat versus, you know, the big garlic that you think of when you have a Caesar salad. So, you come back to our peppers. and they're charring up nicely. So you can see that guy there. We're just gonna let it go even more than that. Yes, it's perfect that way. And the great thing is when you roast off peppers too, you're changing a little bit of the flavor and it's also gonna, you know, some people can't eat raw peppers. This, you can eat roasted peppers all day long. And I have some um, chili peppers, jalapenos, grown here in Ontario. And we're gonna put those on because we're gonna make a little bit of cucumber salsa. They're gonna go on the direct heat. We're just gonna blister them. So we're just gonna get a little bit of um, char on it, turn it over and then bring it out and then we'll use it into our, our dish. Like I said, a cucumber uh, chutney, which will be absolutely fantastic salsa. And then we're gonna take our cauliflower. 
Now I'm going to surround our cauliflower around our garlic. Again, indirect heat, too hot, it's going to burn too quickly, and then you're going to have um, a really burnt, um, kind of, sorry, you're going to have a really burnt, bitter taste versus the sweetness when you roast off your vegetables. So here we go. And having a nice big barbecue, you know, over 30 inches, 36, 40, kind of lets you do more with it. You know, that you're not always just trying to make do with a smaller one. If you, hey, if you have a smaller one, great. But if you can get a bigger one, it's always a good thing. Again, just turning it over. We're going to take our broccoli. Broccolini. We're going to put that right beside the tomatoes. Now, if you have a wood fired or charcoal grill, put the vegetables on there on the side, a little bit of radiant heat, let a little bit of smoke get into them, and you'll never, you'll never go back to just eating regular vegetables. Smoky vegetables are great. And we're just going to take our onion for our quinoa salad, and again, just cutting it into thick pieces putting it right on our grill and the smell like right away when you when the onion comes out it's just fantastic our peppers are almost done tomatoes doing its thing our beets and then just finally getting everything ready to go and we're going to come back later to these, but when you grill watermelon, it's absolutely fantastic. And we're going to do a couple of desserts with grilled watermelon and some peaches and plums in just a minute, but we'll come back to that. And finally, we're going to take our eggplant. Again, just washed it. I'm not peeling any skin off. About, cut it about one and a half centimeters. Take our purple eggplant again. And we're going to put that right on our grill. And this is the only one that I'm going to put a little bit of salt on it because the salt helps bring the natural sugars out of the eggplant. Just like so. It's been so humid filming, the salt doesn't even want to come out. You're probably thinking, chef, you're putting lots of, lots of vegetables on and where we're going to go. We're going to make three different recipes in a couple minutes. And then all this is going to kind of come out at the same time is which way we're always looking for when we're cooking. We don't want to be spending too much time here because we have a beautiful lake that we need to be in very shortly. So we're going to take our peppers and once they're done, as you can just see this beautiful pepper right here and put them on our cutting board, charring them up really nicely. We're going to let those cool for just a minute. Take a, take a Ziploc bag. And you want it, the stem to cool down just a little bit when you put them here so it doesn't melt the bag. Put them in like so. Leave them for a half an hour. You can go a little bit longer than that, but a half an hour. And then you're going to grab them. And with the magic of TV, you're going to take them. Out they come. And then it's going to peel really nicely for you just like so and like I said look at how nice and charred they are like I said you're allowed to burn something finish that have our cloth we're going to turn our eggplant over our onion over which is just kind of nice little grill marks on it right now And when you come back, you're going to see so many different recipes using some great, amazing grilled vegetables. We're grilling on our Crown Verity, which doesn't get much better than this in paradise. So won't you join me?